Okay, so um, this is a little quick tutorial working with an older 82 model. Now if you notice I've put an 83 plus which is a pretty common uh, current model of TI and as you can see everything is laid out the same which is really great if you've got this older TI-82 because the directions uh, that you'll find for the 83's are the same and all the buttons are located in the same place as you can see this is just an older kind of version of the 83 it's much more blocky and this one is gray which I kinda like the gray color um, but as they went along of course they rounded the ages edges and, and made some programs that are really handy in the 83 that they didn't have in the 82 but the 82 isn't a useless calculator he's not completely obsolete yet uh, as far as statistics go so let's bring this guy in here and see if we can uh, zoom in on him just a little bit and now if you want to darken a screen of course you second up second up second up and if you want to lighten the screen second down second down like you do with all calculators. So this is for statistical applications. Now I've uploaded the manual to this guy um, on, on Angel on the website so you can check that out for all that he can do. Uh, in statistical applications what you most commonly are going to want is uh, calculating basic statistics with it, what we call one variable statistics. So you would press the stat menu and you would go into edit to edit your list. Now if you want to I've entered some data into both list 1 and list 2 so that I can show your regressional analysis with it as well. Um, if you needed to clear a list you would simply highlight the list and press clear and then enter. I don't want to clear my list because I actually need it. So you would just enter the data into the list and once you've done that you would hit the stat key. You would go over to calc and before I bring up some statistics, let me talk about the setup number three. If you go into the setup, um, you'll notice that it says, what do you always want to use for your X list? Well, you always maybe want to use list one, or maybe you want to use a different list. Most people set the X list to list one. Frequency is one, because you don't have stack data or anything weird like that. And with two bar statistics, X list is usually L1 and Y list is usually L2 and that's just kind of the standard setup but you can set it to something different if you needed to so we're gonna bring up some uh, one variable statistics using only list one so you would just select one var stats and now it'll prompt you for a list name so you say second number one you hit that blue key and number one that's where L1 is then it blinks for a minute and then you press enter and you've got your x bar, your sum of x's, some of the x squared, sx is your standard deviation, sigma x is something you usually want to ignore in elementary statistics at least so I'm not gonna talk about that but n is 5, min x is 3, q1 median or q2, q3 and max. You can also bring up two variable statistics in a similar method. This is when you have two variables, an X variable and perhaps a Y variable. So it's prompting me for its list names. So I'm going to tell it X is in list 1 and then I'm going to use this comma key to tell it that Y is in list 2. And then I'm going to hit enter and it brings up all the X variable information first and then it brings up the Y information uh, y variable information. SY again is the standard deviation of the Y variable and of course your sum of XY's and all that good stuff. It brings up a lot of good information here. It doesn't uh, tell you the quartiles in two variable statistics because usually you only want two variable statistics when you're gonna go ahead and do a regressional analysis anyway. Now the drawback of this 82 is it did not come with really anything for inferences such as hypothesis testing or confidence intervals you can program uh, such things in there with your program key and creating a new program but if you're not a code monkey then it's probably not something that you want to mess with uh, you might want to get onto the TI website and see if maybe they have a download for an 82 usually they have add-ons and downloads for the current models older models it might take a lot of digging to find programs and they use the old-fashioned little uh, plug 
in the most recent models, the 89 titaniums, they switched over to a small USB cable like what's for a digital camera. So you have to have one of these little AV plugs that go into a USB cords to, uh, to communicate with the internet and download anything to this calculator. So no confidence intervals, uh, no hypothesis testing for this model, but it does do regressional analysis, which is great. Uh, most calculators, especially now, uh, this this is 2011, so most calculators, as long as they cost over $14, can do a regressional analysis. So let's have this guy do a regressional analysis, okay? Um, you would just want to go into Stat. You'd want to go into Calc. And you would want to go down to LinReg. If you're using a book with AX plus B equation model, you would pick that. What we commonly use, though, is the more uh, traditional model, LinReg A plus BX. So I'm going to select that. It's waiting for me. It's prompting where are my lists. Well, my lists are list 1, comma, list 2. And I hit enter. Now it's going to give you the equation of the line, or the prediction model, and it tells you what the model is, and you just insert manually on your piece of paper or your test or whatever, A and B, where appropriate. It gives you the correlation coefficient, so the R, Pearson's correlation coefficient. In this example, uh, R is 0.9722, really great, strong, positive correlation going on there. And if you wanted the coefficient of determination, you would have to manually square uh, this. So it does give you um, basic regression analysis, which is good. Another quick little, that's really all it can do with its statistics menu. That's going to be useful for an, an elementary stat course. Um, and if you notice, it just has lots of different regression models. The most basic is the linear regression model there. It has natural log regression, exponential regression, power reg, things like that, which normal people don't use. So I won't bother you with that. Uh, uh, second quit. Oh, okay, I'm quit. Let's clear that out. Uh, combinations are hidden in its math menu and its PRB menu. So if you needed to do a permutation or a combination or maybe a factorial, you can do that with this guy. If you wanted to do 12 and then permutate uh, maybe four items from it, it can handle that. You have to enter the N first, then the command, and then the R value. And um, that's all I've really found to be useful at an elementary statistics level uh, right now with this calculator. So, you know, if you have him, he's, he's not completely useless. You shouldn't throw him away. And the great thing about him is he is laid out exactly like the 83 pluses, he just doesn't have all the cool add-ons. So there you go.